With a final Senate vote on Brett Kavanaugh set for tomorrow, the nominee could be a sitting justice on the Supreme Court within days. How is his presence going to have an impact on the court's rulings, and what happens if another accuser comes forward against Kavanaugh? Joining me now, Pete Williams, NBC News Justice Correspondent. Uh, the, to the first question, Pete, um, what happens if, if uh, there are more unsettled issues about uh, Judge Kavanaugh once he is named to the court? Uh, two possibilities. One is nothing. Uh, you may recall that there have been additional uh, books written about Clarence Thomas and about uh, further elucidating the accusations that Anita Hill made, but they haven't affected his role on the Supreme Court at all. Uh, the same thing could happen to, uh, to Judge Kavanaugh. You had, um, I think, been discussing in the last day or so this, this talk among some Democrats of, of, of possibly having an impeachment proceeding, mm -hmm. if that were the case. There's a real constitutional question about whether uh, impeachment can be used for acts before a person came into office. In other words, can you impeach someone who's a Supreme Court justice for something they did before they became a Supreme Court justice? Right. Or is impeachment only to be used for punishment uh, of, of official misdeeds while mm -hmm. in office? That's an unresolved question. As to, yeah, sorry. No, I, okay, so then I, 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 I've asked you this before and we've talked about it before, but I, I, I don't think we can talk about it enough. Let's talk about the issue of recusal. There may be instances in which there's something that gets to the Supreme Court, Kate, that, that has to do with sexual assault or yeah. something that has to do with other things that, that uh, Brett Kavanaugh now seems to regret saying or has apologized for saying during his testimony about partisan politics, about what he called left-wing groups uh, that could bring a challenge to the Supreme Court. It's not easy for a Supreme Court justice to be be recused from a case. No, and you know, it's different on the Supreme Court. Some say it shouldn't be, but the fact is there are only nine justices. There are no spares. In the district courts, if a judge recuses, you get a different judge. If a, on the appeals courts as well, there's there's no standby Supreme Court judges, uh, justices. So if a justice recuses, that reduces the number that can hear a case, and that's never a good thing. You want the court to be at full strength. They decide themselves whether to recuse. No one else tells them. Now, parties can ask, but it's still up to the justice. And they usually recuse because they have some sort of personal conflict. They own stock in a company. Uh, they decided a case when it was a lower court. They were in the government when the issue was when it came before the government, that kind of thing. Um, recusal for what you might call strictly sort of partisan or uh, uh, policy views is extremely rare. Uh, remember that uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg was very critical of Donald Trump, but she didn't recuse when the Trump travel ban came before the court, and the government didn't ask her to when they were defending the ban. So, um, you know, I, I think the defenders of Kavanaugh would say what he was criticizing is the way the confirmation process was being handled in a partisan way, not criticizing liberal politics or... Uh, you know, a, a liberal view of how the government should work, they may try to draw that distinction. But I think the number of cases in which he would recuse because of this would be quite small. Hey, MSNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down there and click on any of the videos here to watch the latest interviews and highlights. You can get more MSNBC for free every day with our newsletters. Just visit msnbc.com newsletters to sign up now.